Have you ever tried to cook ribs in one hour? It can be done, trust me, we do it all the time. We got the RTB 380 fired up to 400 degrees. We got some St. Louis ribs. We're gonna make a delicious Asian glaze, stay tuned. We got some garlic, some Worcestershire sauce. Wush, wush, dish, wush, dish, 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 dish. Does anyone know how to say it? Does anybody know how to say it? Funny you say that. Ray sent me a great gif yesterday about Worcestershire sauce. Let's just call it woo woo sauce. How about that? I like that. But all this stuff is in your pantry. We got some honey, some Worcestershire, wish, that sauce, some soy sauce, brown sugar, a little bit of water, and some rice wine vinegar, and some honey. We've got a small sauce pot on that bullseye right behind me. Almost to a simmer, we're gonna go ahead and add some of the Jody's Asian Persuasion. Like two more minutes and that's done. All right, if there is one ancient secret to this, it's cutting these ribs just right. We're gonna pull this membrane off. And we wanna cut like and leave meat kind of on either bone there. So try to get like 50-50 and that way you get like maximum meat to bone ratio. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add these into a zip top bag. And then when that marinade is cold, we're gonna go ahead and uh, toss them in there, let them marinate overnight. You can go a couple hours. But here's another tip. If you don't have that long, you can take a vacuum seal bag and uh, you can actually vacuum seal them as well. But gallon Ziploc bags work just as well. All right, we've had these ribs marinating for like four hours. Looking delicious. We haven't even cooked them, they already smell amazing. We got the RTB 380 fired up to 400 degrees because we're gonna grill these hot and fast for one hour. And I'm gonna leave some of that marinade on there because now we're gonna season them liberally over the top with that Jody's Age Persuasion. You wanna get rub on everywhere because the honey granule on that rub is really gonna give you some good crust. That right there. Ooh, chow please. Again, we're gonna cook these for one hour at 400. We will flip these over probably about two or three times during the cook. And again, we're looking to get some really good char and crust and flavor on these ribs. All right, I know we said one hour, that's it. One hour to cook these ribs, 60 minutes at 400 degrees. Now it does take a little time to marinate, but it is well worth it. Get these sliced up, marinate them overnight while you're sleeping, cook them the next day. But I'm telling you, ribs in one hour does not suck.